when I got heavy, I'd say two years ago, when I got pretty decently heavy, I wasn't the best mentally and, you know, body dysmorphia and all that shit because it was my first time gaining a lot of that weight. Mm -hmm. So it's not all going to be muscle in the span that I, you know, gained it. Um, and then after that, I bombed, that's the meat I bombed out at is when I gained all that weight, mm -hmm. you know, kind of slept on depth and then went into the meat, not really thinking, and then didn't squat to depth for all three of my squat attempts, which fucking blew. Mm -hmm. Um, and that kind of gave me a reality check to like take everything a little bit more seriously. Um, and I have, cause I'm, I'm never going to bomb out in a meet like ever again. Cause yeah. one, once you do it, you're not going to do it again. Um, but then that made me lose a lot of weight cause I wasn't doing the best mentally. So I lost a bunch of weight, got down to two Oh three, maybe under 200 a little bit. And then kind of got the itch for powerlifting again. Mm hmm Started that prep up. That was for the meet in April. Mm -hmm. I went and did 90 kilogram instead of the one I'm at, which is 100. So it was the first meet that I had to cut weight for. In my strength, yes. I water cut most of it. Mm. And I still didn't make weight by like a, a pound. So what what happened then? Did you have to compete in the They put you in as a guest lifter. Oh. Uh, so none of your stats really go on. In sense. in the records, yeah, but you can you can still compete, which was good. Um, but now I'm at a very comfortable weight. I'm around two fifteen when I wake up. Mm -hmm. Bloated, probably two seventeen. Mm -hmm. Um, but this is where I think my body's the most comfortable. So I'm gonna stay here until I fill it out completely. Yeah. So over time trim the fat the muscle will fill in for that but it's not going to be overnight the only reason i do competitions is one to set a goal and to work towards something because that's always easy to do um another thing is you know it gets you put on a record which is cool because your list will stay up there forever yeah um but it also just keeps me motivated i have literally everything going in my favor yeah how does it feel to have everything going in your favor it feels calming yeah you know it feels like everything's just gonna go the way it should that's awesome i've been manifesting a pretty good day to, you know i've been manifesting a pretty good day for meat day for a while and everything's kind of aligning yeah. for it to happen I, in my specific weight class, I think I'll win, which is, you know, the junior class, 20 to 23. I didn't sign up for the open. Oh, shit, you're still 23. Yeah, I didn't sign up for the open, which I should have, because anyone can sign up for the open. Mm -hmm. um, which would have put me against probably five other people. Mm -hmm. And I still think I would have been pretty close to winning all of it. But it's really not that about that for me. Yeah. It's just me against me, really. I do think I'm going to get close to a 2,000-pound total eventually. And if I'm watching this, I hope you fucking got there. Or you're close in some way. And I hope you're doing all your coaching dreams and figuring out everything. I hope you have it figured out by then. <laughs> I hope whatever the fuck we need to figure out, we figure the fuck out. That's all I'm going to leave myself with. Okay. But I just got to keep my head up. Yeah. Yeah. And just keep trucking. All right, Mr. Jay TV. Yes, sir. How are you feeling about Connor and uh, how's he doing right now? Pretty good, man. You know, it's a really exciting day. Connor, you're doing a great job, man. It's awesome seeing the kid that you're becoming and the power that you're becoming. 
power and confidence, man. I absolutely love it. You're having the day of your life. You look so happy, and I could be happier for you. Keep killing it, man. Hell yeah, dude. Oh. Yeah, I mean, he's got a lot of people supporting him. Yeah. Um, he's definitely been working his ass off. I know you mentioned something earlier about he's a big mental guy. When his mental's on, he's on, and when he's when the mental's off, he's off. Exactly. So how do you think he's been doing with his mental, and like, has he talked to you about anything he's done to like train up his mental or anything? Or? Um, he talks about his training every day, and I think that's where his confidence building is coming from. He's training so hard and working so hard to get to where he wants to be that it's just happening right in front of him. And my big joke about Connor is everyone else in the room knows he's as, he's as strong as an ox, but he's the only one that doesn't believe it sometimes. So I think if he listens yeah. to the people who care about him and the ones who love him, then he's really going to expand in that way, too. Yeah, man. Yeah.
Hear the press command. Are you happy with uh, happy with that bench? Yeah, we're just staying conservative for a little bit. Yeah. So like coming into this, I wasn't like the best on pausing. Yeah. But we paused them, and I just want to go to my farm, really. But we're sending. Buckets. I was about to say how big you, how, you're going to send some stuff. Yeah. Depending on how you feel. Yeah. Yeah. We save energy from squat and bench for double. Yeah. Sweet. So I just got to execute. Oh yeah, man. Proud of him, Mama? So proud. He worked really hard. <laughs> he rocked it. I love it.